guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and judging from some tech coverage or actually an overview of tech coverage from ourselves and other blogs you may be fooled into thinking there are only two platforms in the mobile industry but in fact there are more and one of the better ones that isn't in the main two is Windows Phone. Recently Microsoft's been updating a whole load of phones to the latest version of software dubbed Lumia Scion and it has some really great features so I wanted to round up my favourite five features of this latest Windows Phone version version for you but also wanted to know from you what your favorite parts of Windows Phone are or just the latest version of software let me know in the comments down below or even let me know why you haven't tried Windows Phone yet or if you have and why you did or didn't like it number one on my list is Action Center now Android and iOS have had a drop down notification drawer for some time and it's clear that it is the best way to do things. Well, at least it is in my mind so it was nice to see that Windows Phone finally got there. So you've got your notifications that you can dismiss or read or tap on to go to the apps that's giving you the notifications but the feature I really like the best is the quick access toggles on the row above the top. Now you can change these to suit whatever you need them to be. So by default you might have airplane mode and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and connectivity options in there but you can do things like launch the camera change the screen brightness so what I've done is I've adapted mine to suit myself so I've got the screen brightness one easier to reach because it's easier than going into settings to change the screen brightness I've also got quiet hours which is essentially Windows Phone's version of do not disturb I've got flight mode as well as camera in there too and of course you can actually access action center from your lock screen by swiping down or you can switch that off in the settings if you want to may not be groundbreaking but it certainly adds a really nice new element to Windows Phone that wasn't there before everyone likes to talk about customization when they're comparing Android and iOS but Windows Phone has actually been updated to allow more customization now too. We've finally got wallpapers. Now unlike iOS and Android the wallpaper isn't behind the icons in this case tiles on the display. What happens instead is the wallpaper fills up the tiles and as you scroll up and down you'll see different portions of the wallpaper. Essentially your live tiles become windows to that wallpaper. But what's even better now is you can have three columns of icons on the home screen and because of this you can have three different sizes so you can really customize the way that your tiles look so you have really big ones and small ones in all sorts of different shapes and patterns. That actually means you have a lot more control over the blank space on your screen than what you'd get on perhaps iOS. Number three is of course Cortana. Now what's particularly great about Cortana is that even though it's in its early beta stages now it's sort of taken the best parts of Google now and the best parts of Siri and combined them to create something that looks like it's going to be incredibly useful. Now it's got the really cool sort of quirky personality that will joke with you and give you answers to things but it also has all the information about you so that it can give you contextual reminders it can tell you all the things that you need to know before you even thought of asking. So when you scroll down you've got things like weather and news about topics that you're interested in. Perhaps one of the best things about Cortana is that you can tell it to remind you to do something when you get to a location or when you call someone or when it's a certain time. It's completely aware of everything that you're doing as long as you inform it of everything. So you basically have to give over everything about you to make this better. The same as Google now but it has the personality similar to Siri. I can't wait to see where this goes at the moment it's not been running perfectly for me but it is still in its early stages and I can't wait to see where it goes. Number four for me is the new keyboard. Wordflow is really really quick and easy and accurate. It's essentially like SwiftKey. It gives you really intelligent predictions for the next word but because you can flow over the keys it's really really easy to type. You don't really have to worry about double letters in words, you just kind of swipe over the letters and, it, and it's generally really, really accurate. Certainly makes typing a lot quicker. Number five is a relatively minor one, but it's the lock screen. The lock screen now gives you the choice to show what kind of notifications are on the bottom. So you can choose to have four or five apps giving you information about notifications on your phone right in a little icon on the lock screen. For instance, I use the apps that I most commonly use like phone calls and Facebook Messenger for instance and calendar appointments. They'll show up on my lock screen whenever there's a new update. Of course if you actually want to action them you can just drop down your action center and actually go to the app from there. But just having that little reminder or little notification on the screen telling you that there's something waiting for you I find incredibly useful. 
That's my thoughts about Lumia Cyan. I'd like to hear more from you. Let me know what you think about it. What are your favourite parts? I'm at phonedog underscore cam on Twitter. You can ask me anything on there. Follow me. Also, obviously, just use the comments down there and I'll get involved as I always do. And I'll see you again soon.